What's up, everyone? This is Johnny Rose. Welcome to my channel. I have a quick commentary on Miss Stormy Steele. It looks like both her and her husband, Courtney, are going to play a bigger role on Love and Marriage Huntsville next season. And I'm going to tell you guys all about it. But before I do, please hit your like, subscribe, and your notification bell. Also, support my channel by becoming a member. The link is pinned in the comment section. You guys, I'm still growing my channel, so your like and subscribe will help others find this video. And you already know, I appreciate every single one of y'all for rocking with me. So let's get started. First things first, a lot of you have been asking whether or not Melody and Stormy are still friends. Um, we haven't seen them in a lot of things or participating on each other's page very much. And then Stormy did this Cuff It challenge. And of course, we were missing both Melody and Martel. What I can tell you for sure is that as recently as two weeks ago, both Melody's mom and Dorica, which is her best friend, had liked posts on Stormy's page. And you guys can check it out for yourselves. It says Dr. Dorica Hardwell, and then her mom liked this post right here. And I don't think that Melody's mom or her best friend would like anything if Melody was not cool with Stormy. Now, Stormy has said on many occasions that she is cool with everybody, that there is some beef or tension between, you know, the original six. She said that it is much deeper than what we've seen on television, but she said it has nothing to do with her. And so she wants to be cool with everyone. So I don't know if you guys remember, but maybe two, three weeks ago, Stormy went on a little bit of an IG rant where she was saying that the show and fans of the show in particular um, had disrupted her life in a way that she wasn't used to. She said that she's constantly being criticized and judged, but she said she understood her purpose, that God had given her this platform so that she could share her story. And because she understands that, you know, it was bigger than her, whatever you know that her purpose was, it was bigger than what she was receiving in regards to backlash. She said that she was going to stick it out. Well, despite the backlash, a lot of people have been asking that Stormy and her husband have a more prominent role on the show. And it looks like people's requests have been heard. And a few hours ago, Stormy posted this message to her IG stories. She said, my story has been one that's been far from perfect and still challenging every single day. But one thing I do know for sure is my story, my wins, my losses will help so many people. Every time I see negativity, shade, etc., I always quickly remind myself how blessed I am, becoming a better entrepreneur every day, husband who loves me, a beautiful son, the opportunity to bless and help others, the list goes on. So yeah, stooping down to another person's level just isn't what God has in the cards for me. Eagles soar higher. The other birds can't breathe up there. What I've been through this year would have been the death of most. Can't wait to tell my story and share. Y'all gonna be jaw dropped, but hella inspired. I just know it. Then she said, this is so random, but at Carlos King, you rock. Thanks for creating such an amazing platform to be human. I look forward to being human this season. Now she kind of tripped me up when she said this season as opposed to this upcoming season. Um, but yeah, Carlos King took that message, added it to his IG, and he said this, you're so sweet. Nothing makes me happier than seeing someone grateful for the opportunity. More to come, baby. So you guys, based on that, I can only come to one or two conclusions. Either Stormy is now a full-time cast member on Love and Marriage Huntsville, both her and her husband, Courtney, or you guys, Stormy might have her own deal inked with Rain Entertainment. So um, I'm, I'm thinking it's the first one. I'm thinking it is Love and Marriage Huntsville, but we'll have to see. Either way, something is being rolled out for Stormy in regards to her being able to share her, her story on television. But you guys talk to me in the comments and let me know what y'all think about all of this, okay? There has been a lot of people asking for Stormy to play a bigger role on Love and Marriage Huntsville. And she does have an amazing story. If you guys have heard it, um, how she, you know, built the Canvas Beauty brand, even asking her husband to quit his job, the one steady paycheck that was taking care of her and, you know, the insurance and all the stuff for the house, you know? I mean, you know, Canvas Beauty was doing amazing, but she was like, we're about to take this next risk. We're going to roll, you know, roll the dice and see if we can push it to the next level. And clearly she has. So I would be interested in seeing her 
um, as an entrepreneur on Love and Marriage Huntsville or even her own show. But you guys talk to me in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about all of it. Okay. Like the video, subscribe to my channel, hit that notification bell, and I'm going to check you all on the next one. After Galentine's. And I do mean right after. I was like, I talked to my husband. I called my publicist. I was like, you know, I said, fuck. I said, oh. I got them went on this motherfucker and just showed my ass. I said, you know what? Like, you know, just the, the me in me came out. And when I say the me, it's like, I always feel like people have like two, like different sides. You have the side that God created you to be. A lot of people get to know that side of me. That's the side that loves animals. That's the side that have a heart for people will help anybody give them a shirt on my back. Then there's the side that I was conditioned to be like, shit, you talk to me stupid. Okay, bitch, let go. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just I grew up like that. You can't take that out of somebody. Like, you can... You can, you know, suppress it. You can learn how to not be like that. You can be better. But something that was in you, you know, like condition from nurture versus nature. Like, it's just there. Like, you can't get rid of that. And, like, that's what happened when I would say Destiny and I, when we first, you know, had a moment on television. Granted, I didn't never, I did not see that shit coming. But I know that's inside me. Like, I'm like, that bitch talking to me crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, let's go. But on the flip side, I also took that for what it was, and it was a moment. It was not, like, forever. It was not perpetuity. It was just a moment. And what I can say is that in making the decision to, like, just wanting to dead that whole bullshit that was supposed to never be bullshit, I actually wish that the audience would, like, give more grace to cast members. Just give more grace to people that you see on television and realize that what you're witnessing is only a fraction of what they represent, myself included. Um, I know before I went on reality TV, I was just, you know, like this girl on social media who built this huge company, Canvas Beauty, and who did giveaways and who gave back to the community, who loved animals. And then like I, I would hear people even say, oh, shit, she act like the hell. Yeah. <laughs> try me i do you know what i'm saying it's in there but that doesn't mean that the other side doesn't exist you know and i will i would say that that's for everybody i have gotten to witness people and their behaviors when the cameras are rolling and when they're not and what i can say is i like the people that i see when the cameras are not rolling each and every single one of them and some people, when the cameras are rolling, it's questionable. Um, and I say that because I, I don't, I'm just going to be blunt and direct. I really hate when I scroll on social media and I see a particular cast member in general getting like so much hell. And I swear to God, y'all, that's destiny. Give her some fucking grace. Like, and I'm just going to flat out say that. If me and this bitch can, like, you know, bitch for real, but you know what I'm saying? I say bitch for anybody. If we can argue and I can still sit up here and say, like, there is greatness in there, then that's the fucking truth. Because, you know, you get, you be privy to shit that's outside of when the cameras are rolling. So, I just hate to see that. Like, I mean, I've been on Twitter. I've been on Facebook. And my publicist be telling me not to read the comments. I can read the comments because I don't give a fuck. I've always been very adamant in saying, like, I'm so blessed and so grateful to have been able to be on a reality TV show at this stage of my life. And what I mean by that is, in this season, in this stage of my life, I was already me before I got on TV. There's never going to be a point in time where somebody, anybody can ever say that this platform made me. Because it, di it didn't. I love it. I like it. You know what I'm saying? But it did not. And that would never be my story. Um, I feel like a lot, a lot of people on the cast don't get that same, don't get that same grace. And I, I really hate that because I don't know that reality. You know what I'm saying? I just know mine. And I'm just so thankful that that's not my story. But I, I can say that everybody that you see on this show, they're good people. They're good people. And I wish viewers would consume the content for what it is. And it's just good content, um, entertaining content. But I hate the fact that so many people are putting these boxes where they can't step outside of it and just be great. Because people watch snippets 
of a reality show and deem that everything. Y'all don't understand, like, this environment is stressful for some people. It's not stressful for me because you can't stand in the fire and not be okay with getting burned. I'm cool with being in the fire. I'm one of the motherfuckers who walk on call and be like, shit, that shit didn't hurt my feet. Because I, I've been through so much and I, I ask God for these type of t challenges. But I don't know. I just, I guess like just me tonight, just scrolling, like for the first time ever <laughs> since I've been on the fucking show, people have been like, oh, I like Stormy, but don't like me and hate somebody else. You know what I'm saying? This is just, this, that ain't what it is. Because the person y'all hating, I like, you know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with. And like I said, I fuck with everybody on the show because at the end of the day, a lot of a lot of people on the show, they've had history and relationships before me. What I learned, if I haven't learned anything, is is you got to develop your own your own, you know, just relationship with people. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I kind of went into the show like I don't know, like I don't fuck that shit. But in real life, that ain't even me, so I I ain't even finna just do that. That ain't, that ain't who I am. Everybody's outside having an amazing time. And I'm like, what the fuck are they out there doing? I'm going to read some comments right quick. Miss 1J Blige, D 